Good evening, YouTube Model Rare Order fans. I'm Ray. No hat. <laughs> uh, this video actually was a bit, actually is a bit unplanned. Um, I had intended uh, later this week, let's do it this way, later this week of um, finally getting around, because I've already done the passenger trains, but getting around to showing the freight trains, I ran into a problem. Uh, my turntable uh, for the roundhouse is the motor runs, the turntable spins, but the trackage on the turntable itself doesn't want to work. Um, maybe it'd be better if I showed you. Okay, as you can see is, is I've already got an alligator clip going from one of the rails under the layout, and I've already determined that the issue is actually with the wipers uh, that go to the central axle on the bridge. Um, the bridge itself, there's a, I'm not sure how many people have actually played with this style of a uh, round or a turntable. This is actually a uh, Walther's Cornerstone. Uh, it's got a central axis and on that central axis there's two, um, I guess for lack of a better term, rings. And there's a slit in that tube and the track wires go from the track through the tube and they connect to one one connects to one brass ring and the other one connects to another brass ring. And then inside the, um, underneath that turntable, there's a little box. And that box has two wipers. One's supposed to meet up with one rail, the other one's supposed to meet up with the other. And I have adjusted the living heck out of these stinking things. And it was at a point where I had a dead spot in it. Now it's to the point where it's not running at all. So... We're going to go ahead and crawl under the layout, which reminds me, to crawl under the layout, <laughs> you have to move a few things, <laughs> just a few, and then of course I'm going to sit in my seat so that I'm flat on my back, so give me a minute, let's get underneath the layout and we'll take a look at this dude. Well, <laughs> let's see if I can actually get this thing loose without either knocking over the iPad, <clears throat> or losing parts. This is the part I'm gonna hate, is getting these little stinking screws out of here. So, you know what? We're gonna come back to this, but there's, there's the bottom side of the roundhouse, or the turntable, so, hold on. Okay, <laughs> it's loose. I, uh, Managed to drop three of the four screws, <laughs> but I found them all, which is a good thing. So I'm in the process of turning on my uh, my Fluke 87 here, and uh, my uh, Fluke 87. Um, and I'm hoping that it's still set the way it was before, that it'll tone when I hit these things so I can determine <laughs> I guess when I turned it off it lost its settings yep okay good so I got good tone at least on one track so that shouldn't be the problem, which I didn't expect it to be, because the way that that works is, that's what I was telling you about before, that's actually soldered. Uh, the track, or the uh, wiring comes down through the center post here, and uh, from the track, and then there's wires attached to both of those, one to each, one rail to each one of those brass circles. And then, what you've got is this dude, which of course, my arm is blocking the light, and there ain't a whole light, lot of light underneath here anyways, but um, as you can see, there's the two wipers. There's one here and one here, and they're supposed to meet up with those brass rings and supply track power to the rail. So my problem is with these wipers again. So, I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I can get them adjusted out, and we'll see what happens. 
All right, folks, we're going to take a slightly different approach to this. Uh, I just got finished removing the uh, roundhouse lead, which is over here. Uh, and what I'm going to attempt to do now is just pop the roundhouse out of the hole, which, <laughs> boy, this is going to make things a little bit simpler. Um, somewhat simpler, because now I've got to figure out how I'm going to hold on to this thing. That's okay, there was a lot of dirt in there anyway. So. so, now what I need to do is I need to, give me a second here, because we're going to have to, i got to get the, uh, the mechanism out. So, that should be, oh, look at this. It's right here. Cool. So, there's the mechanism. And this here will make it a little bit easier to see now, too, I'm sure. There's the mechanism, and there's the two, there's the two wipers that we talked about before, and there's the motor that actually moves the moves the turntable. So now I'm gonna have to go underneath the layout here real quick and get the uh, screws <laughs> so I can put it back together. So give me a second. Sorry for the finger. All right, now that I've got my screwdriver. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Just bringing the uh, Fluke 87 up. So I can check things out once I'm done with this. So now comes the interesting part. And that's flipping this thing over and then trying to get everything lined back up. Sorry, I, shoot. I've got the, oh, dang on it. I've got the uh, iPad sitting on the bridge, and I'm trying to get the alligator clip to stay on the. I still got nothing. So I don't have it lined up right. Of course it would help if the thing was actually on there. It doesn't matter though because it's still not it's still not registering. The matter is, should be on the turntable right now. getting any tone. Sorry folks, I'm gonna be right back. Alright, minor snafu. <laughs> I got it figured out and now I've got tone. So now, if I put the bridge back together, we should get something here. I hope, keeping my fingers crossed, because like I said, this thing has been an absolute nightmare. As you can tell, to put back together. 
And of course, somebody's probably saying, why didn't you just glue the wipers in place? Well, because they have to be somewhat adjustable. That's the reason why they're not glued in place. I just have to get it lined. back up and hold it and hope that and nothing which means the wipers aren't making contact still You see what I mean? Now, if I move the bridge just a little bit, it's probably going to lose tone. Here we go. Oh. I may have hold, held on to it. All right, let me see if I can get the screws in this thing. We'll see what happens. Okay, I got the screws back in. So now we're going to go ahead and slide this dude back into place. Hopefully. Maybe. This is always a bit of a, a little bit of a challenge to get it back up underneath the, because there's no way for me to really reach under the layout from here. So I kind of have to, kind of just have to finagle it a little bit, and and I get it finagled. Sweet. Okay. Now, come to real test. Let's go ahead and, oops, pardon my arm. Or, hey, look at that, you guys are taking a ride on the bridge. <laughs> Alright, now, get a close-up shot here. Let's, uh, Yeah, I expected that. One of these tracks is a, just a little bit over the line. Figures. There we go. It's still not... It still doesn't have it. Actually, yes, it does. It looks like. lost it. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So, let me go ahead and take it back apart again. Well, if I can manage to get this back together the way it sits right now, we might actually have a fighting chance. So, we'll see. Well, after quite a bit of finagling, I got it to work. I think. <laughs> it's only taken me, ooh, about an hour and a half. Of course, the video is only 14 minutes long, but it basically took me an hour and a half before I finally got it straight. Um, really weird. Um, it was telling me it was shorted at one point. It was telling me it was open at one point. Um, 
basically just ended up cleaning the thing up real good and then rebending the, the wipers and it, it seems to be okay, but only time will tell, I guess. Yeah, so, um, obviously, we're going to have to do ourselves another video uh, for the freight line, and that may come later this week because, uh, well, it's Sunday night now, but um, <laughs> come on the evening... <laughs> We're, uh, we're due to get our first real snow. <laughs> Unlike Boston, who's already, you know, they, they, you can't find Boston anymore. But, you know, Baltimore, we haven't quite gotten that yet. So, anyway, any i got to go ahead and kill this thing because I'm over that 15 minutes. But, wait for the highball. Green track's ahead. <laughs> we'll see you.